Welcome back to the Getting Started course. We've almost completed building our to-do app because we've added all of the CRUD functionalities we discussed earlier. Now in this video, we'll wrap things up by styling the application and making it more pleasant to the eye. Heading back to the application, the first thing I'm going to do is try making things a little bit neater. On the tab widget, I'm going to hide the tabs by turning off the show tabs option because we actually have this handled programmatically within the app. Next, I'm going to go into the styles tab and turn off the shadows and also set the border color to transparent. And going back to the canvas, you can see that we have those properties turned off for the tab widget. I'm going to do something similar for the list widget. So let's go into the list widget style settings and we want to turn off the box shadow here as well. And looking back, you see that things are starting to look a lot cleaner. On the text widget on the list item, I want to make a few changes to this. I'm going to set the font weight to normal and turn off the bold font so that it looks better to the eye. Alright, so let's go into the edit view by hitting the edit icon. And one change I'm going to make here is going to be on the container widget. I'm going to set the height to fixed height. And then I'm going to turn off scroll content so that we don't have that scroll bar. And we can resize the container widget so that it looks nice as well. All right, we can head back to the view by clicking on the save icon. The next thing I'm going to do here is resize the input a bit so that it aligns perfectly. And we can go on to create a header for this application. So let's go grab in a few new widgets. But before doing that, I'm just going to move the application down a button to the bottom a bit so that we have some space. Now let's go grab in a container widget. I'll drag that and place that on the canvas and expand it all the way. All right, let's make sure everything is properly sized. Next, I'll go bring in a text widget and we want to expand the text all the way. And for this text, I'm just going to type in the name of the application, which in this case is going to be to do app. All right, that looks good. Heading over to the styles tab of this text widget, we want to set the text color to white. And we can't do that right now, but we'll fix it. Let's go to the container widget and set up some background styles for it. So let's go to the styles tab. And in the background color property, I'm going to enable JavaScript and delete out its content because we want to pass in some custom styling. I'm going to set the background color to none and then add a CSS property. So this property is going to set the background position to center and set it to not repeat. And lastly, we're going to set a background color, which is going to be an image I got off from Pixabay. All right, and you can see that that looks better. It seems I forgot to set the to-do app font size. So let's go back and set it to be something a bit larger. And now that looks better. Clicking on an empty space on the canvas, we want to make some changes to the app team. So let's go on to do that. So let's go to the app settings, then themes. I want to change the theme. Scroll down and let's select the earth theme. And you can see that the app looks so much better now. App is looking more polished and I think I like the way the app looks. I'm going to fix some little alignment issues and with that, we should be good to go. Before we deploy this app, let's go on to update the name of the app. So I'm going to rename the app's name to to-do app. All right, that looks good. And now we can go on to deploy the application. And as you can see, we have a beautiful to-do app deployed and very functional. Let's take this for a spin. I'm going to add a new to-do and let's say complete app. And we can save this. And since this is completed, we can mark it as complete. Awesome. So this is how easy it is to build custom internal tools in AppSmith. We've gone through the entire process of building the application UI, writing JavaScript, setting up events, and styling the app UI. And now we've come to the end of this course. I'm going to catch you in the last video, which is going to be the next one. And I'll see you in the next video, which is the course outro.